Why, hello there. Oh look, it's Flag Day. A day actually made by Americans for once. Though not widely celebrated or known, it is a day Americans celebrate the creation of their flag. Which it wasn't even a day to celebrate until it was made official by President Woodrow Wilson in 1916. So, what is so important about Flag Day? One word, symbolism. Yep, you humans love your symbols. In fact, you have been creating symbols for tribes and nations for years. Now, why would someone do this? To show unity under something or someone. You see, the best way to unite people is to tell them that they are all represented under one symbol. In this case, it is the American flag, which took a bit of time for the revolutionaries to come up with. Yes, under this flag, all who were fighting felt that they were being represented and were willing to die for that flag and its ideals. This makes sense when you come from a species that loves to follow the crowd. But what about those people who don't agree with what the flag represents or fights for? What happens to those people? Well, in some areas, you could be seen as an enemy of the state for showing such dissatisfaction. In the US, however, it is usually met with some disdain and outrage towards those people. When the country is in a war, though, they have something called a draft. The draft is when they force men and women- They don't draft women. They what? I said they don't draft women. Seriously? <laughs> as a tiger, a separation of the sexes baffles me. In fact, it infuriates me. Okay? Look. The draft isn't the best thing in the world, in fact it sucks big time. But if men are forced to sign up, then women should be forced to sign up. I particularly do not care for forcing someone to fight in a war, but how is that going to change if you just let one of the sexes go to war for you? I can tell you right now, men certainly aren't thrilled with the draft. So if you want to be equals, you should take the bad as well as the good. Then, when both sexes are forced to enter the draft, then both of you can actually fight the draft together. Like, like a unit or, uh, uh, oh wait, I was talking about flags. Um, uh, flags can be important to people, so try to show some respect when seeing someone's flag. Except for when they're wearing it. That's just tacky.